What's happening, everybody? It is Sunday night. It's time for a thrift haul, starring J and A from Thrifty Biz with J and A. Hey, I'm your one host, Vegas J. Hi, Philly A. What's happening, everybody? Good Sunday evening. Those of you on the East Coast, I really appreciate you uh, watching us over uh, Walking Dead. Hopefully, you're TiVo on that or DVR on that because I too will be watching that this evening. So, thank you for tuning in. It just uh, worked out in both our schedules that this was the night to do it, and I kind of surprised Nay with it because I bought such cool stuff yesterday at this uh, little flea market I went to that I had to show it because some of it needs to get put away in the house and some of it needs to get sold. I made some money before my wife kills me, so that's why I wanted to show it tonight. And uh, um, uh, I got things, you know, I show a lot of clothes normally, and I do have some clothes, but I'm going to show a lot of different things tonight. And Nadine's got an extra special haul. So I'll uh, I'll jump it off. I'll show you a few things. We'll we'll get to the fun stuff sitting over here uh, later on. I want to make sure everyone gets tuned in, and we'll go to some of the more uh, normal stuff, but still kind of cool. Uh, we had a guest on uh, our Thrifty Business with J and A show. His name is Lonnie Oscar, and Lonnie buys lots of hats and sells lots of hats. So I was channeling Lonnie the other day, and I bought a lot of hats. So I got not one but two. Hulkamania, what you gonna do, brother, when the Hulks are run wild through ya? Uh, these, all these hats are a buck forty, and they've never been worn. So I got two Hulkamanias. Probably get like twenty-five for them. Where's my tub tonight? Oh, it's back there. Okay, perfect. Uh, I got the San Diego chicken hat, uh, old school corduroy trucker hat. Again, a buck forty. Probably get like twenty, twenty-five bucks for that. Uh, stain in the trucker vein. I found a bunch of cool ones from Vegas, like old school races. So this is the Mint 400 from 1985, and I passed it by at first, and then I thought, geez, for a buck forty, if someone was there, they might get nostalgic for it. So I thought, hey, this hat has existed since 1985. I got to pick it up for a buck forty. And then along those same li lines from 1990, the Las Vegas Silver Unlimited Hydroplane Race. So I thought that was pretty cool. Uh, they also had the Mickey Thompson's Off-Road Championship Grand Prix. So these were all obviously in some old man's closet, I'm guessing, uh, in 2016 to get donated like they'd never been worn. That's pretty cool. Uh, Squaw Valley Olympic hat and the Creme de la Creme. And if you watch my Periscopes, you definitely saw this one already. The Magnum PI uh, official hat from uh, Universal City Studios. And you can see that on the inside right there so this one I don't know I don't know what this is gonna go for because I can't find this one but this is pretty sweet and then uh, pretty cool little low-profile Harley Davidson uh, Tweety Bird hat now for those of you who have never sold hats or don't know low profile means this it's very low profile and this is high profile I mean I'm assuming you can see the difference uh, low profile just kind of forms the shape of your head high profile sits on top of your head so when you're listing hats that's what you need to tell your customer low or high profile you do ball caps at all nay the ones that i'll be showing tonight oh first ball caps tonight all right cool i usually sell fancy women's hats <laughs> so so not so the opposite of what i just showed is what you're telling me mm -hmm. <laughs> pretty much yeah all right, so I don't know much about Yves Saint Laurent, but I had to get this robe. And the robe is the logo. Is it silk? Uh, no, it's cotton. So I assume it's legit. It seems legit. Can I say the tag? But, but, you know, with all things like this, you should definitely do a little research and check it out. I can't see it clearly. Let me back it up a little bit. How's that? Is that better? No, it's worse. Worse? Yeah. Maybe, maybe you need some glasses. So yeah, that's my... All top, you look all, all uh, pixelated right now. Are you watching the feed? Ah, now I see that, yeah. Okay. Yes, I believe that's, that is real. Okay. 
Yeah, so I thought I thought that was pretty cool. Uh, not not some. I mean, I do buy a lot of robes. I, I never would have bought that, but I thought it was pretty cool. And uh, I'll show one more thing, and then I'll let Nay show some things. If you saw my Periscope, you saw me purchase this. This is a uh, like little uh, foil 3D art of Times Square from 2002. And how do I know it's 2002? Because it was actually uh, written on the back. And what I would have bought this anyway for seven dollars and fifty cents. What makes it cooler is what it says. To Bernard, Christmas 2002, I found in a dumpster and fixed it. That is the most awesome note I've ever seen written on the back of a piece of art ever. Found in the dumpster and I fixed it. So uh, that I'm probably going to hang up. Uh, I might not sell this because my wife and I actually had to New York City to stay in Times Square. So I thought it was kind of uh, crazy, crazy timing. All right, do you want to... Uh, you want to tell about your unique uh, haul? Yeah, so I have some very good friends who are very thoughtful, and one of my very good friends who's very supportive to me, and she's been right there for me, is Christine Lemoyne. And Christine, this past week, sent me a huge, huge, huge box from Canada, and the postage in Canada is very high, so it cost her quite a bit to send it. And she sent me just a whole haul of items just for free for me to list because she knows that I'm I've had trouble getting to the thrift stores and you know financially things have been rough and all so it just um it just, I'm gonna cry <laughs> just it really means it means a lot to me for um to have a friend that that would um you know go to such such lengths for me and um it's it's just amazing what like the stuff that she sent me is all stuff that I can sell for for quite a bit of money and um and it was really sweet so I just wanted to uh say thank you to Christine and um I can start showing some of the items that she sent me all the way from Canada so let's let's see them eh so this is um a it was a fun, it was the most fun haul too because I didn't know what I was gonna pull out and you know, like Christmas. Yeah, so this is a um, Houston Rockers. I don't and I'm not familiar with um, athletic teams or anything. So yeah. it's a it's a 1995 World Champions, but it's got it's new with tags. It's a. Baseball you sure it's not the Rockets? No, it's the it's the back to back Houston Rockets. Yeah, Rockets. You said Rockers. Yeah, you definitely don't know sports. Oh. Yeah, I don't know anything about sports. So yeah, that would be basketball. So new with tags, I love it. Yeah, new with tags. I have this new with tags Beatrix Potter, Mr. Todd, stuffed animal, and she said that she lower. paid about a little she lower. Said, okay, there she go. gave me some rough prices too that she paid for all of these, and I want to go to Canada and go thrifting because <laughs> their prices are. I mean, they they do have a fifteen percent tax, and the thing that that really kills them is that um, they have they also have high postage in Canada so unfortunately to ship some of this stuff it's more worth it for me to sell here in the States because our shipping is so much lower and I'll make more profit on it than she will so um, this is a Mr. Todd Beatrix Potter stuffed animal that I think she said she paid about a dollar for this, and it's new with tags this is an awesome skirt it is a a very, I've never heard of this brand, but it's made in Italy. It's pure silk. It's expensive. I can tell. It's an Averardo Bessie, and I think that was uh, around maybe four dollars U.S. I think she said. It's really cute. So, and I didn't know there's actually two of these floating around somewhere, but I didn't even know this that the Scrabble pieces. Are that they said that you can sell them in lots. So she sent me two bags. Of Lower size bags. Lower. You just love pushing it up high. Just well, I'm trying to. I'm actually going up high where my camera is. So. Right, but the problem is you're you're just you're pushing it around the camera shot. Okay, so about yeah, here. Right works. about there. Yep, that's perfect. So these are these are all Scrabble pieces, and she sent me two bags of these, and she said to lot them all up, just put them in a big lot, and they'll sell. So. I what, I, what I would do is uh, spell out some fun words in the pictures of your listings. That's a good idea. Like thrifty this business, for instance. This is an awesome vintage piece of fabric. It's all it's got all vintage uh, basketball players and football players, and it looks kind of you know maybe maybe 80s, 
it's just really cool. I think it would be awesome to do something in a in a little boy's room with it. So that's really cool. So the weird that's a weird piece of fabric, man. It's it's cool though, and they are there are a set of tarot cards here. You gonna give me a reading? Oh, I, I've never done that before, so some, I'm going to have to sell them to somebody who can. And there's a bunch of, and I can probably, there's two different, oh, there's actually two different varieties, but I can do this as a multi-variation listing. These will be easy to list. They're Sesame Street stickers, sticker packs, so they're kind of fun. And um, you want me to keep going a couple more because I have a lot here? Sure, yeah. Big, big box from Canada, let me tell you. Big, huge, yeah, gigantic. Sticker. It's the biggest have, box from Canada ever. Have, for those of you, these have a $26 face sticker right on the back of them. They're a brand that I'm familiar with from having from having kids. And my kids my kids never got this brand of shoes because they do grow out of them too fast, but they're very popular. They're called Rovies, and they're expensive. And these are they're, they're new. They're, they look like they've never really been worn, So they're and they're in the package and everything. So... I will be able to at least get the price that's on the back of them for. Bring them closer. All right, cool. Now we can see the brand. Very nice. Okay. And and, and looks easy to ship too. Yeah, they are. They would just go in. A, they could even go on a just a poly mailer. There's a kit here. There's a Vucella kit that is open, but it's complete. She said that everything is in there, and I can tell that it is. And so kits always sell well. Um, so, but again, for her to sell it, you know, she, it costs so much in Canada for the postage. So I sadly, you know, the profit on some of these items just isn't as good as it will be for me to sell them in, in the state. So, uh, Tim, uh, uh, the twa, the, the T Washburn, I see his name. He says he want Robies in his size. I take it. They're only kids. Oh, yeah. They're <laughs> only kids, but they do look very comfortable. Let me tell you, I, I can see his point. So Bridget says they're pronounced Robbies. Okay, I didn't know that. I always said Robbies. Okay, that's good to know. And yeah. there's something for you here in the hall that she said that she probably paid about a dollar for, but this is going to you. I'll be shipping this to you. It's a tiki mug, and it says uh, "Spirit of Hawaii" in the back of it. So that came from a gift pack with a little bottle of booze in a box that had a little tap pattern on it, and you would buy it like at the counter of a gift shop back in like. So this is going. That's going to you, and these are also going to Vegas. I'll be shipping these to you. Woo! Swizzle. Vintage swizzle. So. Nice. They're going right to you as well. So you. you have some oh my gosh! So noisy. Sorry, right, it's swizzles. And there's this gorgeous beaded necklace in here that honestly. Um, I don't know. I think I'm going to end up keeping this one for myself. Christine, <laughs> you know, Christine said I, I should keep it for myself, so it's a little knotted right now just from being shipped. I just have to un, untangle it, but it's gorgeous. It's just like just a beautiful beaded necklace. So, and, Very nice. Yeah, so you want to – I have – that's about half of the stuff that I have right now. All right, let me hop back in here. Okay. All right, so the other day I went thrifting with a friend, and when we were done at the the store we were going to be at, the main store, uh, my wife messaged me and said, hey, can you stop at the uh, the bread store and pick up some uh, uh, marble rye? So I said, sure. And knowing there's an epic thrift store across the street, we'd already thrifted. we have been out for a couple of hours. We are going to get some lunch. But I'm like, uh, let's stick our head in real quick. And so it was half-off day, and we buzzed the entire store. And it's a big store. We buzzed the entire store in about 10 minutes. I think she grabbed two things. I grabbed three things. But my three things I grabbed were awesome. So I'll show you real quick. So, of course, you know, hop over to the jeans section real quick. And, hey, we'll find some silver tabs. All right. These were $4. And they're not silver tab baggies, but they are boot cut. And I and the ones that aren't baggies, I've been getting like $35, $37 for the non-baggy ones. So I will pay 4 bucks for uh, $35. Absolutely. Uh, my good friend uh, worked on a TV show, and uh, I love that show. And the show was called Hot in Cleveland because, hey, I'm from Cleveland, and here's a sweatshirt that was not uh, – they didn't sell any products. So this was some crew member sweatshirt that somehow got dropped off in Vegas, and I paid uh, 354 but I think my mom has already claimed it, so I, don't, I will not get to sell it. That's for sure. 
And uh, where did it go? Oh, so the best part, they put their CDs behind the counter. And I get why they do that, because they get stolen easy, but it makes it tough to look at. I asked if I could see them. They had me walk around to the back of the counter. And I looked through the CDs, and my friend had never CD shopped with me. And she goes, man, do you go fast. I'm like, yeah, I can go pretty fast on CDs. So I found nothing good. I, and I, I don't look at the DVDs too often anymore, but I am so glad I glanced today because the last thing on the shelf was this. Oh, geez, as I break it. <laughs> was this brand new Star Wars trilogy, 4, 5, and 6. And I paid half of this, so half of five ninety nine for three dollars. And this set sells all day, every day on eBay for three hundred and fifty dollars. Same on Amazon too. So I was looking it up to see how I knew I knew this was the Mac Daddy one, and I uh, looked it up when I got home, and it said you know this one was three thirty five, this one's three fifty, three and a quarter, but just consistently in that range. And I'm like, that's a good three dollar purchase now. When you do research, you know, just keep your mind open. Don't be so tunnel vision. As I'm doing research for this, I see a different Star Wars trilogy DVD set selling for $400 every day. And I thought, I think I own that. So I walked into my little library room where I have all my CDs and DVDs now, I've a quarter. And hey, what do you know? I own that one too. So this is a $400 set. And uh, I love Star Wars, but I love $400 better. So these, these two box sets right here is about $700 worth of Star Wars. So I'll be selling both of those sets. So when the wife says, pick up some bread, go pick up some bread. <laughs> I hear her laughing in the background. She, she, is, she is giggling in her bedroom right now. <laughs> All right. So also that day when I was out with my friend, um, I, I've, I, say, I say this at every class that I teach when we're at a thrift store. When you go to the plush, plush section, don't buy normal teddy bears. Don't buy normal kitty cats. Don't buy normal Easter bunnies because there, there's millions of those. Find the one animal that's a little bit different. So I found this sweet walrus. He was two bucks, and this exact walrus just sold for like twenty-two dollars. So I'm gonna I'm gonna throw him for twenty-five. He is really nice plush, so he can squish down. He can go in a nice little poly mailer. He's under a pound. Something easy to picture, easy to list, easy to ship. Well, hello, my little girl. You coming to see Daddy? Come on. And then we have a, a pug rescue in town, and they have auctions a couple times a year to help raise money for little pugs that got uh, got a shitty deal in life. And right now they have one that just came in. It was run over by a car. So we, we're always, we always help out with the auctions, and it's not always – it's mainly pug stuff. But I found this sweet Christmas shirt, so we're going to put it in the auction this week. It is a ugly Christmas sweater T-shirt. It says walking in a wiener wonder land. And I got that I got that for ninety cents. So I'm gonna put that up for auction and we're gonna raise some money to help out a poor little puggy. Uh, uh where the hell did that come from? On the t shirt vein, if you saw my uh, periscope the other day, you saw me pick up this. Now my friend who I was with skipped this right on by. Now I didn't know what cyberpowerpc.com was, and actually it, it took me a few seconds to read it properly, but once I Googled it it is uh, computers specifically made just for gamers. So I know some nerd's going to love to wear his shirt while he's playing on his CyberPower PC, and uh, this will be pretty cool. This was 90 cents. Uh, now, this is very timely, and this is no indication of my political leanings, but uh, these two together should be a nice little purchase because talk about timely and in the news, I have not one... Failed Donald Trump business sweater. And this one says uh, hotels and casino resorts. I have two. And this one says Trump Plaza Hotel Casino Atlantic City, which is all oh, gone. So, me. yep. So, uh, I mean, could you could it be any more timely to find Trump items? This is crazy. So this is getting listed tomorrow, and they're both double X. I think they're going to go together. I did look by themselves. They're like twenty twenty five dollar sweatshirts uh, sweaters. I paid ninety cents each. Uh, but to, together, I'll probably throw him up for like 50 bucks. Better get him listed him quick before he's out of the race. Yes. <laughs> I, you know, hey, if, he, if he's throwing a rally in a cold state, you can be warm. And then another tip, we were at this we were at this outlet, and that's where I got a lot of the stuff that I keep saying is 90 cents. And uh, I was 
working this side of the rack. But as I work this side of the rack, I'm always looking on the side opposite me. And what I saw was this new tag's just sitting there. So I'm like, all right, it's starter. So whatever this is, this is going to be 90 cents. I'm grabbing it. So I grabbed that. It's the it's the Minnesota. Oh, where to go? Minnesota Golden Gophers uh, collegiate pants, double X new tags. So for 90 cents, that was an easy, easy purchase. Yep. And then also for 90 cents, and, and in this outlet, this means these clothing items, the ones I've just been showing you, have worked their way through a savers for five weeks and no one purchased them. And there was a point in those, and that, that fifth week, everything's half off. So things weren't all that expensive to begin with. But this Army Strong uh, button-up, like, baseball jersey, for 90 cents, again, an easy purchase. None of these items are going to make me rich, but 90 cents, this is like 25 bucks. These are all like $20, $25 items. That adds up quick. And this one I thought was the coolest. I will not even attempt to f pronounce that, but that says firefighter in German. So this is a polo for a firefighter from Potsdam in Germany, and it's new with tags. And, you know, fire, fire stuff always does well. Oops. Where am I? Did I cover up the whole thing? There we go. So, again, 90 cents, easy purchase. And then the last piece of clothing from that was this wickedly weird. This is a Jordash jacket. It's got, like, fruit on it and stuff. That's cool. New with tags. So there's the tag. Made the USA. And it's got some sweet shoulder pads. Woo! Hello, 80s. Very cool. All right. That's that. So we're going to go back to you, girlfriend. Okay, I have this um, angel. It's a very vintage angel tree topper, Christmas angel tree topper. And correct me if I'm wrong, Christine, but I think you said that this would go for about $25. And I can't remember what you paid for it, but um, it's it's really cute, actually. It's a it's an adorable vintage piece. So, And I have... Sesame Street sheets, vintage Sesame Street sheets, which um, I know that they're going to sell. They're going to do awesome. There's a fitted sheet and a top sheet for Narnie and Oscar. Can you show me how to get, yeah. how to get so to awesome Sesame Street? That's awesome Sesame Street set. And, and people sometimes use those for fabric, too, you know, so that's definitely something that's, that's going to do well. And I have, she said that she spent... About six U.S. dollars on this jacket. It's an awesome jacket. It is. I can show you. It's on. Um, let's see. The Canadian Olympic team, 2012. It's got its new tags. Oh, that's and, cool. And it's got all kinds of. It's got all the patches on the on the on the uh, sleeves. And it's a zippered. And it's got the official Olympic, the Canadian official Olympic tag in it. And it is new with tags, and the price on the tag is $80. That's Canadian dollars. I was going to say, is that Canadian? So that means, yeah. right now that means about uh, $14 here. <laughs> no, I think it's a, <laughs> no, I think it's a, a little more than that. But it's, yeah, it's, and it's a women's size large. So I think lower, really lower, cool. lower. I think this is awesome. I, I, I really... This is probably my favorite. Yeah, those patches on the sleeve too. That's a really nice. I looking know. Patch. So, and it's brand new. It's tag. And she said, she said she spent about six dollars US for it. So. All right. Before you go on to your next thing, we're gonna do a new a segment. It's called a quick pug break. Hello, yeah. I am, I am Roxy, and I'm old and gray. Oh, she's adorable. That's my little baby. All right, quick pug break. Back to you. Okay. Oh. Let's so this is a tea cozy, which goes over a teapot. It's an elephant, and it's adorable. Um, I, just, I love this, actually. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, isn't that cool? <laughs> it, says, it says 19, it's 1983 is the year on it, but it still has the original tag on it. So, yeah, that's pretty cool. And Christine said that when she first joined the old group that – one of her first encounters with you was over this shirt that she just never listed. She got advice from you to buy it, and then she never listed the shirt. So it's that it's been sitting around that long. So she said, "I'm never going to list it, so I might as well just send it to you." 
So here it is. It's a brand. It's the brand FUBU. Do you remember the shirt by any chance, Jason? Yeah. Now here's the problem. Okay. When she was gut. When she was supposed to listen, that was before Cosby uh, was found out to be the worst human being on the planet. I don't think it's Cosby, though, is it? I think it's, yeah, isn't it's Fat Albert. Yes, that, that's that's Bill Cosby. Fat Albert is Bill Cosby. Oh, really? Yes. See oh, the I things you learn that. on our show? I didn't know that. Are you sure? I am 100% sure. He created the cartoon. He is Fat Albert. Bill Cosby was Fat Albert? Are you sure? I am 100% sure. <laughs> I didn't know that. Wow. Stacy's in the background yelling, it's true. Yeah, okay, so if Stacy says it's true, then it's true. Christine waited till there was a controversy. So so what do I do? It's an extra large. Just just don't put his name in it, but you know, the good thing is the whole junkyard gang is there, so you can use Fat Albert and I forget the rest of the kids' names, but use all those in the title. Okay. It's a good big size too. I think it's oversized for an extra large, so Right. By the way, according, according to the chat, you're the only one who didn't know that. Okay. Well, <laughs> I'm not surprised. I'll just say that. So Christine has to tell me. Oh, okay, no, I'm muting you for a second. My gosh. Well, this is. All right, hang on. Don't talk when I mute you. You were you 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 can't be grabbing near the mic. Okay, let's see this crazy. What we don't know what this is. We don't know what it is. Christine, help. Bring, what is this? Bring it closer. It's 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 really cute. It's silver, and I put all the pieces together. They were all sep wrapped separately, and it's it's got like little dishes here and lids and I don't toast know. holder. I have never seen a, a toast, toast holder. holder. Really? That's what it yeah, is. So, so I'm guessing the jams or the marmalades go on the side, and you okay. put the okay. Oh, so you can put like butter or jam on the sides, and then the toast goes in the middle. Is that that's it? Wow. Yeah, that's okay, it's adorable. I, I I had and it looks like it's it's very old and vintage. Should I try to polish this, Christine? No. Just leave it, no. Nope. Just leave it as it is. Okay. Leave the patina as it is because here's what happens. Here's what happens. I would say at least fifty percent of the time, you go to clean up something old and you end up making it worse. My dad had this okay. awesome over a hundred year old uh, mantle clock and he went to wipe the face of it and wipe mm -hmm. the numbers off. Oh. So, so, so the clock went from be... being cool to worthless and do what? Yeah, so it should be done in a proper way so people need to, whoever buys it should know how to have it properly cleaned and that's what they should, it should be on them then. That is awesome. I did not know. I can tell it's vintage. It's gorgeous. I just, I didn't know what it was and I was like, yeah, I had no idea. So then there's, I have more here too, but that's what we're I think there's another hat floating around. You sent two hats, didn't you, Christine? I don't know where the other hat is. There were two. Hmm. Well, I have one here. <laughs> there's another one floating around. Okay. So all of these, all of these sewing patterns are are going to definitely sell. They're awesome. I love listing sewing patterns. She said this one alone should bring me about twenty, twenty to twenty-five dollars. Wow, I would never pattern. pick that up. Yeah, and then this one, she put a note in here. It's cut, and she put a note saying that somewhere there was a note. I think this was the one that it it'll be about twenty dollars cut. So it's a christening. Um, oh wow! Vogue. Yeah. Oh, little Vogue, how cute! Butter. And this is a butter vintage seventies embroidery transfers. There's more. Uh, wait, 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 bring that one back and show it closer, because that looked awesome. Yeah, they're, right they're the applique and embroidery transfers. Closer, closer, closer. Right up to it. Yeah, that denim's looking sweet. Mm -hmm. <laughs> These are really cool, and they're from the 70s. So you can see the backs, like what some of the patches look like. They're really cool. Oh, my God, that's awesome. Uh-huh. So, that ice cream patch is the best one. Yeah, we have a, a, a Care Bear. Pattern. Oh, wow. That's cool. Yeah. And this is an awesome Vogue dress. Wait, I, I was really that to think. wait? Was that to make a Care Bear? It is to make a fr stuffed friend bear. Yes, it says. Oh, cool. So care and it's Care Bear. Yeah, that's what it is. That's pretty neat. And this is a pattern for an awesome kind of boho dress. That's from. Uh, looks like it's from the '80s. So. That's pretty cool. Vogue again. And here's another Vogue pattern that. It's all uh, 
So those are, are great patterns. I would have bought, I would have definitely picked these up if I were shopping. So, and then we have a few more things here. I have this awesome, it's a recycled sari um, skirt. And Christine said she really put that in there for me because she wants me to keep this one. So, and it is, it's beautiful. So I will be keeping this one. And we have a Disney Pooh Bear theme park Halloween little guy. Cute. And Girlfriend, maybe, don't bang the microphone. Sorry, I've got stuff on top of it. These are sanders. They're cyclone sand sanders, and she said they sell. So she said just list them, and they sell. So what, what I are list them. They're, sa they're sanders for um for an electric sander. They're like the little ends. Oh. oh. To it. So. Gotcha. And let's see. This is. Uh, there, there was another hat. I can't find it right now, but. No, she said there was only one hat. Oh, there was only one hat. I gotcha. thought there were two. I must yep. be. Okay. All right. And this is from actually my friends, my another friend of mine, my friend Cindy, also gave me some stuff. So I have, I know it's, I have um, a Ralph, a Ralph Lauren little girl's dress, and American doll clothes. There's a skirt. American doll is very popular, and a top for the outfit, little sweater, and. This Nadine, is Nadine, please stop dropping things on the microphone. It is so loud to our listeners. Oh, I'm so sorry. Okay. And this is a cashmere Land's End sweater. It's 100% cashmere, so that should do well. And then there were a few things that, um, let me see, there's some jewelry here too. This is the Perth Mint. Can you tell me something about this, Christine, too? It's a medallion. It's a gold-plated medallion. Bring it closer. So is it just, is it like set in the wood or, or what, what are we looking at? No, it comes out. It's a, it's a gold medallion. Oh, I see. Okay. Like, yeah. But I'm not sure. Hmm. Yeah. I don't know what that is. Somebody said, uh, somebody some said she, oh, she said she knows nothing about it. There are some listed. So I will have to do my research on that. There we go. <laughs> Somebody said so, your pile is so high we can't see the cats anymore. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, I got quite a pile here. This is a this is one of the biggest hauls I've I've had for a while. My goodness. And there's this Irish jewelry. It's called Tara, and she said that this will do well. It's um, it's an Irish pendant. It's very pretty. Very pretty. And we have some other jewelry that. In here, there's some. Cleosone jewelry, some Cleosone earrings, and a beautiful, a beautiful bracelet. I don't know. I'm not sure this you guys can see, but they're just really, it's just really gorgeous vintage jewelry. Up, up. Very cool. Are yeah. you keeping or selling? I might have to keep some of this. This is, yeah, some of it's just. Absolutely gorgeous. I, I don't. Plus, it's from Christine, so it's kind of you know it's sentimental. So I will be keeping some of it because um, it is from my good friend. And then I have a couple things that I have I thrifted. I went to the Goodwill one day last week and I bought like just a few little things. So I have an Apple mug, Apple logo. Is there a year on that? That's pretty sweet. There's no year on it. There's no markings on the bottom or anything. And I just, I passed it by at first glance because I just thought it was a white, boring white mug. And then I happened to flip it around and I saw the Apple logo on it. So, and it was really scratched up, but I got, I went over it with a Mr. Clean eraser and some baking soda and all the scratches came off. So, and then I've got a Las Vegas Starbucks mug that I found for a dollar. And I thought of Jason, Las Vegas. And then this, I was just showing to Jason before the show, and he said that it looks like it might have been one of those nesting dolls. I just thought it was a box. It's 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 handmade. It's got like a 17 on the bottom. It's made out of wood. And I just and I just love anything horses. So 
but it's empty. So I'm not sure if it was supposed to be a nesting box and the other pieces aren't there or if this is how it actually was. Yay! Stop that. I know. Sorry. <laughs> so I'm not sure, but I'm going to sell it as is. I'm, I'm just not sure if it was. So if anybody in the chat is familiar. Yeah, Christine says she thinks the same as me. It was a Rus it was Russian. A nest so I mean, that, that'll yeah. still sell. Yeah. Because yeah, somebody that likes horses will probably still buy it and use it for something. Just say the horse lost the rest of his family. There or, you go. Or moved so. out on his own. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm going off to the plains. <laughs> <laughs> so that's my, that, I think that completes my haul there. All right, cool. Well, funny you should kind of end on that Las Vegas mug because now I'm going to show you the stuff I got at the flea market. And uh, we went with our friends Ryan and Vic, and Ryan found that exact mug at a booth when I was trying to buy something else. So, oh, really? The could, same mug that I just showed? Yeah. So he got it for uh, he got it for five bucks. Uh, I paid a dollar for mine. There you go. See? Here in Philly. There you go. Yeah. All right. So let's um, let me dive right in here. Oh, I, I gotta weigh this because. To really appreciate how big this sucker is, I got to give you a weight. I got this awesome Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles uh, beer stein, oh. and it weighs five pounds. <laughs> there you go. You would think that'd be plastic. Nope, that's glass and that's heavy. So that's a badass stein. I bought that for five bucks. I'm hoping to get like twenty-five plus shipping on that one. Because that will not fit. That will not go FOMO. That will not fit in the padded flat rate. You cannot go FOMO with that. Uh, let's get right to this big bad boy. I broke my own rule, Nadine. Oh. Oops, sorry. This was uh, this was on the ground. It was a gigantic X-Wing fighter, for those of you who don't know Star Wars. And I picked it up, and I looked at it, and I set it back down. And when I set it back down, I did some research. By the time I realized I should buy it, someone else had it in their hand. So he was holding it, and it had 20 bucks on it. And he said to the woman, How, what's your best? And she said 15. And he was him and Han, so I used the force on him. I said, that is not the X-Wing you want. And he finally felt my force vibes, and he put it back down. So I picked it up, and I happily gave her 15. So that's uh, these sell about 50 bucks, 50 to 75. They're very, it's very light. It's kind of big and cumbersome, but it's a cool... You know, hanging from the ceiling in the kids' room, that's a badass X-Wing. Oh. Okay, don't forget to check VHS. And VHS, what you're looking for is obscure, obs not obscure, but weirder um, 80s sports videos and horror movies. So this uh, Santa Cruz Streets of Fire is an old skateboard uh, movie. And it's just, you know, kids skateboarding back in the early 80s. But I picked it up for a dollar. This is like a $15 VHS. And then old horror movies. I never even heard of this movie. Monster starring the big stars Jim Mitchum, Keenan Wynn, and John Carradine. So uh, hmm. this will be like a $15 video also. So that was pretty, and that was a buck. These are off-brand off uh, Hawaiian dresses. They're nothing all that exciting. I'll show you the brand. And uh, until I bought these, I'd never even seen this brand. So there's the brand, uh, Vien Yang, but they were a dollar. So there's there's the orange one, and Stacy might keep them. I don't know. And then there's the green one. So for a buck, even though they're off brand, they are made in Hawaii. They're gorgeous dresses. I don't think they've ever been worn. So if my wife doesn't take them, they're like twenty five dollar dresses. Somebody wants to know how you're gonna ship the X wing. Very carefully. <laughs> I'll have to find a very big box, and, and I'm glad you asked because uh, that's going to be one that the price will be more uh, more based on uh, size than weight because that doesn't weigh anything. That weighs less than, the, than this. That weighs less than this. So it's going to be dimensional weight, and so I'll have to make sure I know it exactly before I list it because I don't want to be surprised. Uh, and the dresses, like I said, I'll do. I would do those for twenty-five, thirty bucks. All right. I found this Heineken uh, beer tap, five bucks. Usually sells for like twenty-five dollars. But the guy was super cool. He goes, "Oh, here, I'll throw all these Heineken coasters in for you." So I'll put up this lot for like forty bucks. Always buy beer taps. If you get any any beer tap for five or under, 
Uh, and some beer tabs are short, but if you get any a normal size, doesn't matter the beer, five or under, at minimum, there'll be a $25 uh, sale. And some sell for hundreds. So five or under is a good price where you don't even bother looking it up. Just buy them. Just buy them. Uh, <clears throat> saw this book uh, sitting in a booth uh, by Peter Hegra, Hegra, 100 Naked Girls. And on the back, the original price was 45 U.S., 56 Canadian, and it sells on eBay every day for like 40 bucks. And Amazon, I think it was like, if I FBA, it'd probably be like $70. And it was only five bucks. Uh, so that's when uh, having your Amazon app comes in handy. I mean, I was guessing a book of new girls would be worth more than five bucks, but a quick scan showed me it was about 70 on Amazon. An old carry-on bag, United Hawaii bag, un unused. You could write your name on the bottom. Uh, this was 10 bucks. They're not huge sellers, but I do vend at Tiki events, and this is the kind of thing that people would love to buy. So I think at one of my Tiki events, I could probably get 25 30 bucks for this. All right, I'm getting down to the, to the end and the best stuff, Nadine. Uh, for starters, I will show you this uh, little beach umbrella, and what was crazy about it, let me move my lamp out of the way here. It's Bacardi Breezer, and Bacardi Breezer was like a... Um, a wine cooler, a, a rum wine cooler, so the, their version of the wine cooler. But this is a little, uh, you know, little umbrella for by the pool, and it's never been used. It was still in its, its original carrying case, and I got that for like, I don't know, three, four bucks. And then we popped over to another little uh, flea market afterwards, and I found a Bacardi Breezer metal sign. Like, what are the chances? Because Bacardi Breezers didn't last long, you know, but what are the chances I find two Bacardi Breezer items in the same day? So they will definitely be sold together. All right, uh, let's do the games and we'll end on the lamps. Oh, I picked up uh, this for two bucks. Uh, above the stuff, as I mentioned on our show, the t-shirts aren't selling that well, and but the, the, the tchotchke stuff is. So this little plate, which I bought for $2, will sell for like $20, $23. And I, Not to I, New I, Jersey. What'd you say? Not to New Jersey, though. <laughs> you, can't have, you can't have vanity plates in New Jersey. Well, you could hang it on on your Jimmy Buffett tiki bar in your house. You could do that, yes. Yes. Uh, but you know, again, very easy to ship. You know, try. You know, of course, uh, you know that that X wing's a, a tricky thing to ship. But man, the better, the more things you can find that are easy to ship, the better off you'll be. Because of course, it takes less time and easier to do. Oh dear. All right, the two games. I bought this Risk Lord of the Rings uh, Trilogy Edition for $5. Now, it is opened, and the front cover is a little scuffed because it's been opened, but here's the nice part of it. When I went to check to see if all the pieces were there, I discovered that although the box is open, none of the pieces are. Everything is still sealed on the inside. So that sells usually for the $40 to $50 range, so that was an easy $5 purchase. Plus, the nice thing about this game, as opposed to some, and opposed to the next one I'm going to show you, it's a little shorter than most. So some games get, like, Sorry and Monopoly. They're really long boxes. This one's a little shorter, so it will be easier to ship. Speaking of games, I found one of the Holy Grails. This is what you're on the hunt for. This is the game Jumanji. Oops. Upside down. This is the game Jumanji from the movie. And uh, this lady had it in her booth, and I said, how much? And she said, well, on Amazon, it's 174 so 50 bucks." And then she told me, I was going to price it at 5 until I looked it up. And I'm like, damn it, why could it have been 5 So we did some haggling, and I, I got her down to $40. And if I list it on eBay, it'll sell for 125 bucks. If I ship it into Amazon FBA, I'll probably get 180 bucks for it. So that's definitely where I will be uh, sending Jumanji the game. So he keep your eyes open for Jumanji the game. That is one of the holy grails of games right now. All right. Um, all right, before I get to the last two things, which are two lamps, I want to show you uh, what you can do with vinyl when you don't think it's worth it. So the other day when I was in um, Sabres with my friend Vic, her and her husband Ryan were at that Sabres two days before. And I picked up this uh, Maserati 12-inch. 
Now, I am guessing no one watching right now, and how many do we have live right now? We have 170. I'm guessing no one but me knows who Maserati is. Uh, Maserati was one of the little side projects on Paisley Park, which is, was Prince's label in the, 80, in the 80s. So Prince had tons of artists signed to his label, and they all were kind of intertwined with him. Prince had a couple fake names, so if you see stuff with Maurice Starr or Christopher Nelson on anything, that's Prince's secret names. So if you see written by Maurice Starr or produced by Christopher Nelson, that's Prince. So Maserati. Now this by itself isn't worth that much, but there was another Maserati single. And I happen to have some other Maserati stuff here, so I'm going to make a Maserati lot. So these were a buck each, and I had um, I had 30% off. So I'll put these some other Maserati things, and I'll sell a nice lot of Maserati vinyl for like $25, $30. <laughs> yep, nobody knew who Maserati was. Yep, I didn't think so. That That's an obscure one. I wouldn't, uh, but then the other cool thing, and these were also there, uh, and some of you might know this. Back in the 80s, one of the big uh, rap songs by UTFO was Roxanne. Roxanne, Roxanne! Uh, and they, they put that out, and then Roxanne came back with her own song to kind of be like, okay, so it's kind of like a question and answer thing. So these were both there, and by themselves, they're, they're okay sellers. Together, they're going to be awesome. But wait, I found another UTFO, and get ready. Prepare yourself, Nadine. Are you prepared? Mm -hmm. Prepare yourself for the cheesiest 80s hip-hop cover you've ever seen in your life. The name of the album is Skeezer Pleaser, and there it is. Oh, wow. Hey, I got an idea. We'll all take our shirts off, and we'll, we'll stand together. <laughs> Skeezer Pleaser. But all these UTFO... See, this should be better. That's, that's 80s hip-hop right there. Uh, but yeah, put these three things together. I'm going to ask like 30 bucks. So, and again, this is easy to ship. There's not much here. All right. My last two, my big two finds, and these are things that not, are not going to be sold because they're staying here in the house, but I will give you the, uh, what I think I get for them are two lamps. Oh dear. There we go. Okay, this is what's called a chunky lamp, and these were big in the late 60s and 70s. Mm -hmm. That's a chunky lamp. It's kind of like all ooey-gooey and pieces of loose sight all stuck together. You will find these in every mid-century modern house, every tiki bar. I already had a few. This uh, this would sell for 100, anywhere from 100 to 200, depending on the day and how good your listing is. I picked it up for 40 bucks. I'll unplug it so you can see it uh, in its natural state unplugged. So that's a chunky lamp. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. So if you ever see these, even if it's not your style, if they're in good shape, if they work, uh, these are big money. If you get the – I got some downstairs. I got big round ones. The round ones will go anywhere from two to $500. So if you're at a cool, cool little flea market and people are selling stuff at good uh, dollar amounts, pick it up. I'll, I'll, I'll teach you how to sell it. Cool. All right, now the uh, the last thing I want to show, and I'm going to ask the audience first before we show it. How many of you know what a rain lamp is? R A I N, a rain lamp. How many of you had? Let me let me rephrase that. How many of you had uh, great aunts that were Italian? Because that's what I was thinking about. While I was talking to you earlier, Nadine. All my great aunts are Italian, and I, th I definitely think this is an Italian thing. Okay. See, I don't, I was not, I don't have any, any Italian in me whatsoever, so I'm all Irish and all German, so maybe that's why. All right, so we had uh, two no's and a lot of yeses. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. Excuse me. All right, so here is my awesome purchase. This is a rain lamp, and what happens is you put oil in this, and then the oil drips down all these lines, and then a pump, pump it, pumps it back up to the top. And I'm going to plug her in. I do not have oil in it right this second. Can but I there's ask also... a really silly question? Yeah. Does that make it a fire hazard? No. Okay. No, it's like baby oil. Oh, okay. So unless baby oil burns, which I don't think it does. All right, there you go. See, it's got a little lamp on the inside. Whoop. Now. Uh, I'm not all that religious, and these are typically religious things, even though this one just looks like a statue. Um, yeah, but what all, what all my friends do in the tiki world is they'll, they'll dismantle the top, take this out, and replace it with a tiki, and we'll probably put in a color-changing bulb in the top. So we'll get this cleaned up. We'll get the oil in the bottom. 
And the best part, I paid $20. I saw this exact one sell on eBay last week for $199. So another thing that may be way off your guys' radar, these two lamps uh, would would turn in from uh, 60 bucks to three three hundred fifty dollars, or probably four hundred bucks. So, so keep your eyes peeled for things outside your comfort zone. It would be a little tricky to ship, but uh, uh, if you could figure it out, it would be well worth it. Now, I will tell you one quick story about a rain lamp. I've always wanted one, and I finally got one. And I was in the Savers one day, and hey, what do you know, Nadine? They had one in the back, and I picked it up. And I was examining it, and I'm like, oh, I finally found a rain lamp. And I went to turn it to look at the one side, and it slipped. And as I caught it, I broke all the lines. I just grabbed right through the lines by, by instinct. And, uh, yeah, that was the end of that rain lamp. Oh, okay. Did you just put it back? Well, what do you think? Yeah. Of course. <laughs> <laughs> I was never in aisle three. That's what I keep telling everyone. I was never in aisle three. Uh, so last thing before we wrap up tonight, check out this awesome shirt I've got. Oh, very nice. Being thrifty is our business, JNA. So if you like our thrift halls, if you like thrifty business with JNA, if we've taught you $22 worth of anything, please go to Amazon and buy a shirt from us because uh, the proceeds go to me and A. And uh, it's, uh, we, we have a lot of fun doing our shows. It does take some time to prep all our stuff. And if you look right below here in the description of the show, you will see links to our, my store, Nay's store, <clears throat> our fan page, the thrifting board, and to our T-shirt. Oh, you can get it in five different colors, women's, men's, and kids' sizes. So come buy a – because we're all – hey, being thrifty is all of our businesses. So come buy a shirt, take a fun picture in the thrift store. Uh, we've already seen a few pictures, and they were great. So – Keep it up, everybody. Awesome. And thank uh, you again. Thank you again to Christine. I love you, Christine. And uh, everything that you sent will help. And it was awesome. And I just, I'm so grateful. Thank you. Somebody says, I can't tease you anymore about fumbling based on me snapping all the lines on the uh, previous rain lamp I had in my hands. <laughs> what, is hap what is happening over there? Is there a herd of cattle going across the upstairs? No, that would be my two kids. So. <laughs> Man, I've never heard them galloping. That's pretty awesome. Yeah. So what do we have? Uh, man, 170 viewers on a Sunday night. That's pretty awesome. Do you guys like Sunday night hauls? Because never, we never thought about doing them on a Sunday night, but based on the turnout, I'm thinking that you guys uh, like a Sunday night haul. Yeah. My, uh, my schedule was easier to do tonight on, or on a Sunday. So since, since Jay yesterday midday said, we need to do a haul this weekend when half the weekend's over and I've got kids. And everything. So I said, um, okay, that means tomorrow night. Yep. And everybody's saying yes. Okay. So you know, not, not that we can make it, you know, concrete, we're doing it every Sunday night, but all right, when we can do Sunday nights, I think Sunday nights were fun. We had a great turnout. So thank you everyone. Make sure to subscribe right below down here. Click thumbs up over here. And like I said, down below is all the links. If you want to see what Nadine is selling, uh, if you want to buy something from Nadine, if you want to see what I'm selling, buy some for me. If you want to join the thrifting board or if you want to check out our fan page, we always do fun stuff over there. Please, the links are right down below. It's easy to find us online. And we have a great, great guest uh, on this Thursday night's episode of Thirty Business with Jay and Nay. We are going to – man, you guys thought last week was emotional and uplifting. This week, I think we're gonna we're gonna equal it. What do you think, Nay? I think so. Yeah, uh, we have a, a single mother who is raising her kids based solely on selling online. So we're gonna hear her story. Four children. Four children. Yes. Four. Four. That's like twice as many pugs that I have. It's four. It's one, one more than you one, have. One less child than I have. Yeah. So th she'll be telling her story this one, week. Yes, and, one more. I mean, yes. And as always, we'll have scores, duds, rum, everything that you guys have come uh, used to and enjoy. So thank you, everyone, for tuning in tonight. And, and can we you will give a see... final shout out to Christine, too, please. Oh, yeah, hang on. We'll see you Thursday night. So, yeah, Nadine, you can take us out of here. Okay. So, yeah, so we'll see you Thursday night. And thank you again. I love you, Christine. Amazing. That was the best haul I've ever had, I think. What do you guys think? I think I think all everything that's that she sent was amazing. Oh, I got. I'm sorry. I said you got the last word, but I got. I got to tease our show. All right. If if you wouldn't tune in normally, 
I have a great gift for Nadine that will be one of the most awesome things that she's ever received in her life. And in you will, she and you will understand more on Thursday. But you got to tune in Thursday, and you have to stay to the end because that's when she's going to open the gift. So I, I found something very awesome that when May's not feeling good on certain days, she can look at this gift and be really, really uplifted. So I, I guarantee no you she'll love it. <laughs> I know you don't. I know you don't. I'm going to surprise the hell out of you. Best surprise of your life. I promise you that. So thank you, everyone, and we will see you on Thursday night. Ta-ta! Thanks.